America. Hope is making a comeback. Now, the torch has been passed. And the Obamas take center stage as they close out night two of the Democratic National Convention. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. Maurice is off tonight. The former first couple returned to the spotlight in the very place where Mr. Obama began his political career decades ago. And tonight, they embrace the agenda laid out by Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris. Let's take a live look now in Chicago as night two of the DNC wraps up. Among the highlights, a ceremonial roll call. Delegates from all 50 states, including Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey, celebrated the nomination of Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. And there was another surprise appearance at the DNC from Harris. She showed up virtually on a screen at the arena in Chicago while campaigning in Milwaukee. Jessica Moore was there for all of it, including President Obama. Obama's keynote speech tonight. She joins us now live from inside the United Center. Jessica. Christine, the Obamas absolutely captured this audience tonight. Thousands of people on their feet for more than an hour, hanging on their every word. The couple threw all of their political capital and the magic of the former president's campaign behind Kamala Harris. Hello, Chicago. The son of Chicago returned to the stage that launched his political career. We do not need four more years of bluster and bumbling and chaos. We have seen that movie before, and we all know that the sequel is usually worse. Hoping to inject some of the energy from his 2008 campaign into Harris's bid for the White House. We need a president who will stand up for their right to bargain for better wages and working conditions. And Kamala will be that president. America, hope is making a comeback. <laughs> the crowd went wild once again as former First Lady Michelle Obama made the case for Kamala Harris. Who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs? Whether you're Democrat, Republican, Independent, or none of the above, this is our time to stand up for what we know in our hearts is right. From Harris's political family to her real family, Second Saturday Gentleman night. Doug Emhoff explained why his wife is the woman for the job. Kamala is a joyful warrior. It's doing for her country what she has always done for the people that she loves. Her passion will benefit all of us when she's our president. I'm Eva Longoria from Corpus Christi, Texas. Hollywood heavyweights took over the ceremonial roll call as every state delegation pledged support for Kamala Harris. I want what's best for Indiana, and that means electing Kamala Harris the first woman president of the United States of America. Vice President Harris accepted the nomination not here in Chicago, but 90 minutes north in the largest city in a critical battleground state, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is a people-powered campaign, and together we will chart a new way forward. I'll see you in two days, Chicago. Jessica, you know, the former president's speech tonight was really meant to rally voters for Harris, but he also took time to talk about President Biden as well. He did. He said the best decision he made when he was nominated was choosing Joe Biden as his running mate because of his empathy and decency. He also said, quote, history will remember Joe Biden for having defended democracy at a moment of great danger, praising him for the courage and confidence to be willing to step aside, withdraw from this race and pass the torch to Kamala Harris. Christine. OK, Jessica Moore reporting for us in Chicago tonight from the DNC. Jessica, thank you.